Okay. Seems like things are working. Oh, I have a heart attack every time. Hey guys, the usual. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know about volume, etc. Hello, Dark. My week has been ugh, interesting, but in a tedious way. How have your weeks been? Terrible. I feel like there's a lot of that going around. Hopefully some burb boyfriends will make up for that at least a little. My fingers are crossed. Hmm. Okay, so I've got the game running. I'm pretty sure the window is going to actually show up. I actually went to the effort of making sure it would all work before the stream today. I know you guys are probably really proud of me. My group imploded and it's amazing. Group work! Yay! And by amazing, I mean I regret the life choices other people have made. I do not retract my group work, yay. But I will switch over to the game. If I can remember my keyboard shortcut to do so. I can! Truly, we are in a brave new world here. So, this is the uh, April Fool's VN that Mama made. She does one every year. Although the one from last year is still being translated, I feel. Oh shit, are we actually playing Hatterfall? Well, I just explained what had happened. Um, I don't know if there are any spoilers, but the I remember the Q&A in Holiday Star was very good about warning for spoilers, so I'm sure if there are spoilers, they will be appropriately signposted. Also, the resolution of this game is, like, as big as the palm of my hand. I realize that that is not actually a useful measure, but I can't eyeball it. And there are no options to make it bigger, so if it's really pixelated, I am sorry. But I have to say, the art for the school in this looks amazing. And with that... This is a prestigious St. Pigeonation school. Every day the- oh god, my mouse cursor is showing up. That is going to bug the shit out of me, so let's fix that quickly. Uh, properties. Capture cursor. God no. Okay. Every day the future elite toil here and study. Would you say it's pigeon-sized? I- I can't believe I missed that. What has my life come to? Shoe murder partridge of my heart. And it is all about a shoe who is actually nice, is what it said on the box. I don't know if I trust the box. It's spring, the season of encounters and separations. For birds going through the turbulence of youth, it is a time of joys and troubles. A spring typhoon could sweep through even on the warmest, most carefree day. And there is one place such troubled birds gather here at St. Pigeonations. Had a full hi, Ig! Can someone recap for Ig what is happening? Yes, the comforting roost of gloomy birds. The infirmary. Wow, like, all of the new art is legitimately gorgeous! Ah! People say that under the warm, caring gaze of Dr. Iwamine, no fear or anxiety is too personal to speak frankly. And it looks like someone is headed that way right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. This, no matter how it turns out, this is going to be good. Oh god. Rio, honey. Just run away. Thank you, Doctor. My stomach is feeling so much better. What a relief. We can't have you missing out on such a nice lunch. 
Miss Tasaka tells me you always make yourself incredible meals. It's admirable of you. Uh, it's really not that big a deal. Oh, I know. I can bring you lunch sometime to make up for all your help. Rio, honey. No. Also, I'm reading this in the the terrible, creepy, evil shoe voice. I feel like that makes it better. Oh my, are you sure? I'll certainly look forward to it. This is Shu performing a psych experiment? I would not be surprised. This is some awful text wrapping. Yeah, I think it's a limitation of the engine they were working with, sadly. Mm hmm. There's so many things on your desk, Doctor. Where did all these letters come from? Those. They're from people seeking advice. I want to hug Shu, carefully dodging the scalpels. I mean, I still feel like that's a bad idea, but you do you, Logic. Listen, even the sweetest of all possible shoes still gives off a serial killer vibe. It's just who he is. He has resting serial killer face, it's true. Advice? Yes, many students, and even people from outside the school, come to me for advice. It seems everyone has their troubles. Mr. Kawara, since you're here, would you mind reading them for me? Not at all, is it okay? I wouldn't want to read something personal. Don't worry. These ones are from people who don't mind the answers being published. I figure Goodshoe is basically the same bird, he's just too lazy to bother with murder. Yeah. Well, in that case, leave it to me. First off, this one is from Udon's Good. Doctor, do you ever go to a ramen stand late at night by yourself? I've been wondering for so long and I can't sleep for thinking about it. When I can't sleep, I can't help but wonder if maybe you're eating ramen at that very moment. Do you like ramen? What flavour is your favourite? Do you prefer ramen by yourself or with someone else? Hmm. Now I'm curious too. Do you ever go to ramen stands, Doctor? I do. You do? It's not often, but I don't like to say no if I get invited out by a co-worker or something. Also, maybe slightly less tragic man bird dad crush? That sounds like the sequel to Man Car Hook Hand Door. I don't know if I got that in the right order, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. And it can be nice to sit on those little stools with the cold at your back and listen to the early birds singing. Who are these people? It's very confusing. I like my ramen with lots of vegetables and soy milk. It has a gentle, pleasant flavour. Shu has co-workers who invite him? It's definitely Nanaki. Like, legit Nanaki. I think we can all agree on that. Soy milk ramen. I'll have to try making that. There's a question about beverages, too. From My Miss Cool. I mean, we never see them, but the school allegedly does have other teachers. No, no, it's just Shu and Nanaki slash Hitori. I'm sorry to bother, but what is the best kind of tea? That's not a bother at all. Please, I want everyone to ask whatever they're curious about. It's hard to pick one particular kind, but I think my personal favourite is chamomile tea. That's a herbal tea, right? Correct. 
It's made from the cute little white flowers. Oh no, can I go back? I can't go back! Oh, I accidentally clicked. This is terrible. The best kind of tea is teamwork. Why are they all asking Shu about food? Worst target for food questions. Oh, but this is alternate universe nice Shu. I wonder if that means that Yuya is the one who eats people. The staff may be composed entirely of terrorists, spies, and vengeful madmen, but surely it's larger than one teacher, one doctor, and one janitor. I really don't think so. I really think that that is it. Oh, and the principal. The principal. We forgot about the principal. I mean, he did die, but there was, for a while, a principal. Anyway, apart from that text that I just missed because I'm an idiot... If it's not blended with black tea, it is also caffeine-free, so you can drink it before bedtime. It even helps you sleep. What is this? What is this? This is an abomination. Wow, it sounds almost as gentle and kind as you, Doctor. There was also a robot at one point. I don't think the robot counts as staff. Flattery won't get you anywhere, Mr. Kawara. Logic, I'm, I'm dawdling on this so you have a chance to take a screenshot. I hope you have, because this is screenshot worthy. There are actually a lot of letters here from people who want advice on sleeping well. Here, I'll read one. This is from Naruchan. Hello, Doctor. I am a university student, and during spring break, I stay up too late and sleep until noon. I am human garbage. Me too, Naruchan. I identify with this question. I want to fix my sleeping schedule, but I don't know how. Is there a foolproof method? Or maybe a way to fall asleep more easily? Please don't call yourself garbage. You're not garbage to me. <laughs> okay, A. Sure, you think everyone is trash. B. Uh... Uh, someone very kindly sent me a link to one of the drama CDs that they're translating as a project, and it's very amusing in light of the plot of that. Thank you, Shu. That was fantastic. If we're all human garbage, does that mean that none of us are? No. It's just... If we're all human garbage, everything is garbage. We know exactly how much trash we are. Oh, hello! That's right, you can't call yourself garbage. But professor You're not garbage until you go back to sleep at least three or four times like me. Sometimes, by the time I leave my futon, it's already dark out. That's not good, but please, don't talk about yourself like that. The first step towards improving yourself is accepting and forgiving yourself. Studies even show that things like diets work less effectively if you blame yourself too much. Kazuaki Cannon Trash! It's true! Oh, there's so much art from Moa of Kazuaki being a depressed mess. And, like, I'm really glad about that. He says we're not garbage to him, but Shu likes vivisection and eating people. Also that. Now then, it's good to enjoy spring break. That's what it's for. But it's also important to keep maintaining your routine for the next semester. On a practical level, it's important to keep your parasympathetic nerve conditioned to sunset. 
In other words, don't use your computer or phone too much once it's dark out. The bright light fools your brain into thinking it still isn't time to rest. Ah, <sighs> but night is the perfect game, perfect time for social games and MMOs. She actually giving good advice. This is so weird. Well, I feel like Shu's advice is always good. It just might not be good for you. And this is how you know it's an AU. I wonder if this is an entirely separate universe or if it's one of the others that already exists. Nanaki is a gamer. Deadly, you have not watched the Holiday Star stuff, have you? There's a lot of interesting stuff about Nanaki in there. I don't mean you have to stop completely. After all, suddenly changing your habits leads to extra stress. It could be good to replace it with a different soothing hobby. I watched the first two. Oh yeah, no, it's um, the day the night slept. Those are the ones that are the classic had a full experience. For instance, have you ever tried writing haiku? Haiku? Hmm. That sounds like it could be nice. But games. A little at a time is enough. Just try to do what you can. A little bit at a time. Do Shu really consider computer use a soothing hobby? I think that Shu would personally consider the vivisection a soothing hobby. So from there, he doesn't really have a position to judge us. Please give us Shu Haiku. I am not in control of that, but now I also want it. Also, it's good to exercise a little during the day. <sighs> but I hate exercising. You don't need to spend all day at a gym to be healthy. Even just walking a little is good. And the sun's warmth. <sighs> Even I can take a walk now and then. My soothing hobby is dismantling minor plot nitpicks and logical complaints in books and movies. Co-workers hate me. Co-workers may hate you. But you have found a community in us. You can. You'll be okay. In fact, it's splendid weather for one right now. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. I think I'll go out for a bit then. Thank you, doctor. No thanks necessary. Have a nice walk. I wonder how much of that he actually took in. It can also help to dim the lights in your bathroom, do stretches, listen to relaxing white noise or nature sounds, and if you like it, drink the aforementioned chamomile tea. This sounds so healthy. I feel like I've learned a lot. Okay, but Kaz is probably going to fall asleep while walking, fall over and hit his head. There is that. Actually, there are a lot of questions about healthy living here for you, Doctor. Mika says, Dr. Iwamine, how do you take care of yourself? Do you get lots of sleep at night and eat healthy food? Should I also do the same too to be healthy? And from Kai-chan. Hello, Sensei. How do you stay so healthy and good-looking amidst all the stress and pressure? Sad face. And D's nuts. How do you get your feathers so fluffy, Shu? Do you have any style tips? 
I wonder if they know my friend Bofa. Oh dear. Such meme. Very wow. Finally, Taylor asks, Doctor, how do you get your feathers this fluffy? Is it natural? Or do you have special feather shampoo? Everyone's very interested in your lifestyle and plumage. These nuts, really? Yeah, that just happened. I feel so flattered. Thank you, everyone. I think the basics to healthy living are to eat well, exercise well, and to sleep well. There was a sparkly sound effect. This is breaking my my conception of what Hatterful is. What kinds of exercises do you do, Doctor? I like to go jogging next to the river, looking for bodies. <sighs> I miss real shoe. So healthy. Dust baths are also very important. Keeping your body clean is essential to good health. Um, the next question is from Sam. Dear Sweet Shoe, do you approve of Hiyoko throwing fellow classmates through windows? What does she do dangerous things like that? I really enjoy Ash's. I can't even say my own name. Ash's shoe voice applied to this totally non shoe dialogue. I'm having fun with it. It's making everything slightly ominous and terrifying. In before real shoe shows up and murders fake shoe, I'd accept that. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the twist to happen. Yes. But only as a last resort. Like when she's breaking up a fight and has no other option. Please don't think that she'd do that unprovoked. It sounds like it's something that may be good in moderation. Alright, the next one. Oh no, this letter is terrible. Tasaka does much more dangerous things than that. Tasaka is highly liable to die of some combination of exposure and starvation. She lives in a cave. This is true. What does it say? Chicken asks, What do you think is the best way to kill someone without being caught? Defenestration. 9 out of 10 dockers say it's good in moderation. This was a great time to see that comment. Don't do that. I've never seen him raise his voice before. Chicken, I don't know your personal circumstances, but you mustn't think about killing people. Every life is a fragile and precious thing. You should come talk to me. We can discuss things. And I may be able to help you. Well, I'm glad I got to put the ominous voice on that because otherwise it was just far too nice. Well then, chicken, we'll be here for you. Next, Bonje says, Shu, I'd like some advice if you don't mind. Yuya has said that the school janitor, Mr. One, is much nicer than what his taciturn act lets on. It works much better if you don't think of your targets as people. And the more you kill, the less there is for me to kill. That is a good point, Ig. I'd like to get to know him, but I don't really know how to approach him. He always looks so stern and serious. 
Do you have any good advice on how to do so? Do you ever speak to him? Rockets, hello! Welcome! We're being very weirded out. Mr. One really is an intimidating person. He looks cute and charming, but he has a piercing gaze. Or maybe it's better to call it a terrifying aura. I bet he'd be really scary if he got mad. I can't endorse this kind of speculation, Mr. Kawara. Shu is sweet Shu TM who gives good advice TM. This statement is alarmingly true. Ragnarok, also welcome. You made it. S sorry, Mr. Onem mostly keeps to himself, so the students really don't know anything about him at all. He could be a really friendly, nice bird. It looks like some other people are interested in him too. Tan asks, what do you think of the bright and massive janitor down the hall? Do you ever interact? Yeah, sometimes he comes to mop up the blood. Oh, come on! I rarely get the chance to talk to him either. Not even you? Well, as you know, he is extremely reclusive. But, I do know this. Though he doesn't often speak, I can tell from his eyes. He is a responsible and sincere person. He is a spy! That is the least sincere thing possible! People like him are very easy to misunderstand. That's why it's important for us to ignore our biases and treat people fairly and frankly. Shu. Shu. No. Oh, this universe is just bending my mind. There's no need to think about it too hard. As Mr. Sakazaki says, Mr. One is an excellent person. Maybe we could start by cheerfully greeting him when we see him in the halls. Alright, I'll make sure to say hello whenever I see him from now on. The next question is... The music stopped. Be a good question. Be amazing. Oh, um, this is a little... Please. Go ahead. Are you sure? Um... It's from Negatoro. Doctor, please tell us about the underwear you're wearing today. If you aren't wearing any, please put some on now. I... I... I'm looking at chat. Chat, I, I... I cannot even... Oh boy. I'm just gonna... Wait for this to... Yep. Okay. Oh man, why not both? Yep, okay. Oh my, what an interesting question. You don't have to answer this, Doctor. Does he even wear underwear? Canonically, he does not. Also, he's a bird and birds don't wear clothes, but his human soda does not canon canonically. Blah, 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 blah. Don't worry. I came prepared for this. Oh no. What am I going to have to read? Um, so, this is my life now. I tell people about birds wearing underwear with hearts on them over the internet. 
How did you spend your Saturday, Ashlyn? Well, let me tell you a thing. Oh my god. So, wait, why do we know he doesn't wear underwear canonically? It was in the Q&As in the Holiday Star on the radio show. Did not need to see Ken on Unseen. No, you're going to see this for the rest of your life. As am I. <sighs> I'm wearing them. P Pats? I can't believe the doctor is so considerate. He would anticipate this question and wear those just so he could show them to us. Three exclamation marks. I also cannot believe this Riota. I thought he refused to answer the question in the Q&A. I thought he did, but it was like strongly implied that he was not wearing underwear. Or I might have gotten it mixed up with something from somewhere else. That is a strong possibility. Wait. Does that mean he usually isn't wearing them? Well, there we go. I I'll read the next one now. Oliver asks, Hi, tender teacher Shu. I'm currently attending university, but have still no idea what I want to do after school. Do you have any advice for finding a job you're passionate about? Ah, uh, Follow someone else's heart. Oh, I understand how you feel, Olive. I never know what to put down as my intended major. I'm so impressed by people like Sakuya who have everything planned out. I think it's normal to still be worried about that in university. Oh, hello, I just found history. <laughs> Are you glad you showed up for this, Rockets? Sure. Quote marks. Glad. Life will always have worries. Even adults and teachers feel lost sometimes. Speaking of which, we have a letter from a working adult, too. Um, from Aloe Vera. Lately, I feel as if I- as if though I'm overworking myself. There must be more to life than my job. I want to live a spontaneous and exciting life, but... I also do enjoy the responsibility of working. Such a conflicting life we live. Can you please help ease this troubled mind of mine, Sensei? Olive. Aloe Vera. Both of you are facing your lives very earnestly. That's incredible. But living every day like that will wear out your minds. And I have a use planned for those. You'll become stressed and lose your horizons. Take a deep breath, relax, and look at the big picture. School and finding work are both important junctions in your life, but they're still just small pieces of a much larger existence. Both of you can be applied topically? Nice! No matter where you end up, you can always find something you love. For instance, Many people discover their true passions after going to a second choice school. You don't need to stress over not knowing what to do. If you keep your eyes and mind open, you'll find wonderful things wherever you end up. It's great to find a job you're passionate about. But you can be passionate about things other than work, too. Aloe Vera, you seem to love your work. 
but also want freedom to find yourself. Enjoying what you do is critical. Shoo, you never went to college? Yeah, shoo. Has had a number of professions where he really should have gone to uni, and I don't think he ever did. But also, be careful not to burn out. Try to relax on your days off. Then, take a pen. You want something, but it's still vague. Try writing down what you want that will excite you in concrete terms. How is he a doctor without an MD? He was also a lawyer at some point. And... He may have an, a doctorate, but not an MD. It's possible that Shu has, on occasion, been less than completely honest about his past. That is true. It can be anything. Going shopping. Or learning a new language. Or an instrument. Or travelling the world. And just write it down as you think of it. Also, his name used to be Issa, I think. Uh, okay, I can do this. First was Utsuro Ichijo. Then... Uh, Mishio Ishiki, I think. Then Issa Soma. Then Shu Iwamine. Then think about what you need to make it a reality. Enjoying your work and also seeking something extra exciting on top of it. That is a beautiful lifestyle. The world is full of wonderful things. You're so positive, Doctor. I'm always worried that even if I look, I'll never find anything that I really want to dedicate my whole life to. We all know what you want to dedicate your whole life to, Ryota. Like, did he just manufacture Shu, or did Shu used to be a perfectly nice verb who got dissected for his PhD? It's never covered, but I think Shu's cover identities are just manufactured. They're not the, uh... I don't want to spoil anything, but it's not like the other situation where this is applicable. And Ash is a true fan? Oh god. A, I guess I'm a true fan, but B, the Hattiful fandom is super nice, and as soon as I started posting in the tag, I got descended upon by the three other people in the fandom going, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this, this is everything, this is available, you can find this here, and it was just really nice. Happiness. You really don't need to find something like that. I don't. Everyone finds happiness and fulfillment in different things. We all know what you find happiness and fulfillment in, Shu. Your life doesn't have to follow some ideal model. There's no need to worry that you aren't following the right path. Three excited people can have a major impact on one's life. This is true. When your fandom is Wii, you cling on to every fucking scrap you can find. Also true. Although... Okay, Logic, the fic that I wrote that was for you, basically. The Shu Hattori one. That is now outperforming some of my Homestuck fanfics. I don't know what is happening here. Cries a tear for Elite Beat agents? Wait. Wait, there's an actual fandom for that? Yo! I know what I'm doing after the stream. But isn't it natural to worry that you hatched for nothing? Let me pass on some wisdom 
from an ancient sage. The meaning of life is to be kind to others, avoid greasy food, read, walk, and live in peace with people of other ideologies and nations. It was really good, okay? Like, the thing was... I... I can't say that I'm objective about my own skill as a writer, but I do my best to be. And I was looking at it as I was writing it, I was going like, eh, it's okay. Like, it's not bad. It's definitely some. it's doing what I wanted it to do. But I didn't think it was that good. Okay, no, how is there a fandom for EVA? There wasn't a plot? Okay. You take that back. EVA had a plot and it was zany. I think I could do all those things. Bird society has its problems, but I want to believe that we can fix them someday. Ryota, no. No, presumably you've somehow avoided the wholesale slaughter of humanity here, so let's just keep rolling with that. Everyone has different fears, I guess, Doctor. Indeed. I just hope, as a doctor, no, as a person, that I can help a few people feel just a little bit more comfortable. There was an EVA Phoenix Wright crossover fic? Yo. Amazing. All the students think you do. Just go to the infirmary and listen to the doctor's voice and you'll feel better. Oh, Ryota. Asking him for advice was not what they meant. You sweet, innocent thing. Everyone feels safer looking at your fluffy plumage. It's like magic. Everyone's hearts and bodies are better for your being here. Now, you're just overestimating me. Everyone here has the light and strength of hope inside them. I just give people a little push. This is... There was no twist? Excuse me? And so, the Doctor's kind gaze protects the lost little birds of St. Pigeonations for another day. May they all find happiness. Dr. Iwamine's kindness is greater than the skies, deeper than the seas, warmer and more soothing than a hot towel. And its limitless grace is not limited to this school. Oh my god! No doubt the Doctor will touch the heart of millions more troubled souls on this world. I, d I don't know how to deal with this on an emotional level. A gentle spring breeze stirs the evening air. Little birds walk home through the brilliant sunset, dreaming of tomorrow. Thank you, Dr. Iwamine. Forever. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh boy, and Demarushi did the sweet shoe artwork, of course. Well, that was certainly an experience. The twist is that this is all the advice and guidance he lacked as a chick, and if he had a mentor like this, he would not have ended up as an asshole. Okay, 
Wow, you just made it painful. Oh god, you're right, Egg, it's Ryota's dad was such a dick. Wow, yet again. Ryuji Kawara! It's... I cannot even with Ryuji Kawara. Also, Ig, I also beat the final stage on the hardest difficulty, and I am also unduly proud. Internet fist bump. Okay. Hatterful is hurtful? This is true. It's not Hatterful if it doesn't hurt. Great life motto. I'm just thinking about what we can do for the rest of the stream, because that was 45 minutes. Um, logic, that bundle.